fam, PM here. Um, how are you? Today we are, me and AM are making the very requested pho chicken that we had previously. I think about a couple, couple months ago. So, because we made it at home, so we thought we'll show you guys because you guys actually requested for us to make it. So I'm going to show you how we make the pho. Pho ga, which is chicken by the way. So first thing we need to do is to make sure we roast the on a pan all of the herbs ingredients the herbs well the in yeah. one pot no oil necessary so all we need is um coriander seeds about a tablespoon <laughs> about a tablespoon and a half it's coriander seed and then I really don't know what this is called um, I'll link it down in the description down below so about four of them we also need about four star anise which I we, we're just going to dry roast them and what we also need later on is whole peppercorns and some cinnamon stick. So we just roast this in a pan so that the aroma of the ingredients will actually come out in the soup. You know what guys, I think we're going to need two tablespoons I think we of need another one, coriander see. seeds. And another one of strands. Is that fine? Alright, and we'll cross it one more, so we'll put one another one. Just <laughs> look at that. You can take this on. No, it's fine. Here it is. So we just dry roast it on the pan. Once you smell that it's a little bit burning, then what we're going to do we're gonna have to put it in this pouch and then put it in the hot water with the whole chicken so that's your broth yes it's all about the broth guys all about the broth that's about right we're just gonna let this cool down for a bit and then we're gonna transfer it in this pouch over here and then we're gonna drop it in the liquid so once that's cooling down what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our water boiling water this is about five liters of water but I don't know depending how much meat you have and how much soup or liquid you want how much flavoring you want in there I put in five liters because whilst the chicken is boiling the liquid will basically dissolve and we're making quite a lot, a lot of um, fall broth because we're going to freeze most of them so that next time that we want to make some pho we can just have it anytime we want so now we're putting in our whole chicken over here Woo! check this out guys chicken so we're going to put it in here Right, and we're also gonna need we're also gonna put in onion in there. About three whole onions, put it in there. Chopping onions, are we? So all we do is basically chop the onions into fours, just quarters like that just like that and then drop them in here three onions then what we're gonna do now guys the this has now be has cooled down so why are we doing that so that it doesn't go everywhere <laughs> it's easier this way because it's easier to have the pan well, or the pot clean you won't have any of these bits so when you make the pho you don't have to strain it you can just throw it away all in one go 
So guys, this is our flavoring. This is most of the ingredients in there. So we just drop it in there. Just put that in there and then put in one stick of cinnamon. Actually, we'll put in two. That's it. That's this is the fur and all you have to do is let it boil for a about an hour and then you take out the chicken and then you peel it off and then you put back the bones peel it off or dismantle it <laughs> see you in a bit forgot about the pepper guys <laughs> this is so epic fail right we're gonna need about can you hold this please we're gonna need about a tablespoon of this oops tablespoon in there and that's it that's <laughs> all the flavorings ready hopefully hopefully hey guys <laughs> I forgot one of the ingredients ginger I was sitting in the living room and thinking about did I forget something guess what I did so what you do you don't have to peel the ginger you just have to roughly chop it because you're gonna have to take it out later anyway and then just dump it in there. There you go. It's coming together now. Mm, smelling good. Sorry. Yeah. That's it? Are you sure? Yes. Love I think. I love you. I love you too. If I forget something else, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, this has been boiling for about half hour now. So we're going to put in our flavoring. We got this um, chicken powder, which gives it a lot of flavor. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in oh. Oh, it even comes with a scoop so we're probably going to put in about five of this two three four because there's a there's a lot of um liquid in here so we're putting five and then we're going to put in about one fourth of a cup of fish sauce. There we go. There's the flavor. Twirl that around. We put in all of that flavoring so that the actual chicken can have the flavor as well. Mmm, smells really good, mm. guys. You have no idea. If you make it, make sure you tag us. I think that's it. Yeah. That's all the ingredients. And yeah, and in about 30 minutes, we're gonna take out the chicken, take debone it, debone it, put, um, take them apart, and then put the bones back, boil it for another 30 minutes, so that you have all of the chicken flavor in there. Hey guys, um, this has been boiling for about an hour now, so we're now going to take out the chicken, let it cool down, and then put the bones back. If I can get it out. Two thongs. <laughs> Put one in the mitten. It's a log. Careful. There you go. It's hot, my love. So one chicken out. Into a plate. Let it cool. And let, let this keep boiling so that it absorbs all the flavor of the ingredients that we put in. We'll let this cool down and then dismantle it. I'll show you guys how I dismantle the chicken. No one just sliced them up anyway. And then use my hands afterwards. <laughs> um, I'm now gonna debone the chicken. So what I normally do is just you can just take it apart with your with your hands. Take the bones out and pop the bones back in the pot. There we go. Do the legs pretty easy because it, it's basically cooked already and for the body all you have to do because it's already cooled down just rip it apart like that Ooh, still a little bit hot but I can handle it ah. 
There we go. Quite hot. Then just take the rest out and then just put the bones back into the pot so that it still gets cooked and give a little bit more flavor for the broth and then you should be able to eat. All you have to do is just cook your noodles and then just put them in a, in a bowl and put the broth in. You put coriander, um, spring onions, spring onions mint, mint and basil, more if you want. The whole chicken is now the bone. Put it back in the pot and let it cook a little bit more so that all the juice comes out of it. And that's it. And we're just going to cook the noodles and then we're going to eat. We're just going to make our pho. So just put the meat in. You put as much as meat as you want because <laughs> it's homemade. <laughs> then put in our... Bean sprouts, then some basil, topped it with coriander, and spring onions. Then now it's time to put in our broth. Mmm, can you smell that baby? Yeah. Does it smell like deliciousness? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's our fall, guys. And we're just going to add a little bit more chili later on for my pho. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Also, you can, t you can click on the notification button as well so that whenever we upload videos like this, you get to see it first. All right. See you later.